Question 56. A beam of monochromatic, one color, has a wavelength of 5.89 times 10 to the negative 7 meters in air. Calculate the wavelength of this light in diamond. Show your work. Include the equation and substitutions with units. All right. So what do I know about this thing? Well, they said it was light. So it's traveling at a velocity equal to C. And it has a wavelength equal to 5.89 times 10 to the negative 7 meters in air. And uh, it's going into diamond. So the index row fraction is diamond that we're going into. Well, we're going to find a formula here to help us out. And I'm looking for some equations. I'm only getting two points for this, so it can't be too complicated. And I noticed this one. N2 is to N1 as lambda 1 is to lambda 2. Let's see what this does for me. N2 is to N1 as lambda 1 is to lambda 2. All right, let's see what I got here. I know lambda 1, the wavelength in air, and I know N1. The index of refraction in air is, I'm uh, going to look that up on the chart, and I'm coming back with 1.00. Index of refraction of diamond, N2, is equal to 2.42. And I'm looking for lambda 2. All right, this is going to be easy. Well, I always do my algebra first. And whenever I'm ever doing algebra, I always do multiply by. So I got n2 over n1 is equal to lambda 1 over lambda 2. So if I multiply both sides by n1, they cancel out. Multiply both sides by lambda 2, they cancel out. So I know n2 lambda 2 equals n1 lambda 1. What am I looking for? Lambda 2. So I divide, divide both sides by N2. So I've got Lambda 2 is equal to N1 Lambda 1 divided by N2. So now I plug into my equation. Lambda 2 equals 1.00 times 5.89 times 10 to the negative 7 meters divided by um, 2.42, and I come up with a lambda 2 equal to, I come up with uh, 2.43 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Question 57. Calculate the wavelength of a photon having 3.62 times 10 to the negative 19 joules of energy. Energy. Show all your work, including the equation, substitution with units. I want to start with what I know. I've got a photon that's got some energy, and energy is equal to 3.26 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. I want to know the wavelength of that thing. It's in the modern physics thing. There we go. And it says the energy of a photon is equal to HF. It's equal to HC over lambda. Well, let's see what do I got. A photon of uh, it's a photon of light, so of course we'll have a C of three times ten to the eight meters per second. A formula has uh, energy uh, H C over lambda, so I'll go ahead and write this. Energy is equal to H C over lambda, but what's H? Oh yeah, that's right. That's Planck's constant. It tells me that right over here, so it's not like it's a it's a real brilliant step there. H is Planck's constant. But now I can go look up Planck's constant. And I find that Planck's constant is uh, Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds, which is great because I got joules here. I don't have to convert it from some fancy unit into joules. So what am I looking for? Lambda? 
So I have to do algebra here. As I said before, I always get rid of the divided by. People make a lot of mistakes there. So I multiply both sides by lambda. I end up with E lambda is equal to HC. And then obviously HC divided by E will be equal to lambda. Now that may be easy for some of you, but for some of us, the algebra always trips us up. So I'm meticulous. I can plug in now. And what do I have? I've got... Uh, H, which is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule times seconds. I'm multiplying that times uh, C, which is 3 times 10 to the 8. Let's get it all in here for you. Meters per second. And then I'm going to be dividing that by 3.26 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Let's do the dimensional analysis. Joules cancel out. Seconds cancel out. We're left with meters. We're looking for wavelength, which is meters. So uh, my dimensional analysis tells me my algebra is correct. And then I plug into the equation and I get and I get a wavelength of 6.1 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Okay, question 58. A box at the top of a rough incline possesses 981 joules more gravitational potential energy than it does at the bottom. So it's the top here, 981 joules of potential energy. Uh, as the box slides to the bottom of the incline, 245 joules of heat. So I lose 245 joules to heat, friction. Determine the kinetic energy of the box at the bottom. And they just want a point for that. Well, pff, I subtract. I had 981 joules. I lost 245. So I'm going to be left with, uh, let's see, that would be 6, 8, 7, 3, and uh, 9, 2, 7 joules. The answer is 736 joules.